Hello, and welcome to the Ambu Studio. My name is Gabriel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, cost effectiveness. Well, at least partially. We're going to stick with talking about cost per procedure with conventional reusable duodenoscopes today. We're going to touch on the single-use technology for comparison so we can try and figure out what's cost effective in different scenarios. Duodenoscopes are used to perform endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatographies, otherwise known as ERCPs. For the last several years, the FDA, as well as the medical community, have been asking for a single-use version of duodenoscopes so that they can mitigate the risks associated with conventional reusable duodenoscopes. However, the question has now been raised. How do you compare a reusable duodenoscope, a $40,000 piece of equipment that you use for years and patient after patient, to a single-use device that you use just once? That's the question we're gonna try to answer today. We're going to be referencing two studies during this summary. The first one is the total cost of reusable duodenoscopes. Are single-use duodenoscopes the future of ERCP? This study is primarily used to determine the capital investment, repair, and cross-contamination costs. The second study we'll be referencing is the economic burden of emergent practices of duodenoscope reprocessing and surveillance, balancing risk and cost containment. This study will primarily be used to determine the reprocessing and surveillance costs. We found that the average cost per procedure was between $1,413 and $1,739 per procedure. First up is the cost of the duodenoscope itself. An average quoted price of about $40,000 for a brand new conventional duodenoscope. The video tower can include all sorts of things necessary to perform an ERCP, including a processor and a light source. The study depreciated this over a five-year lifespan, then determined the cost per procedure by dividing the depreciated costs in its final year by the annual procedure volume. Facilities that lease their scopes will end up with similar costs, but the methodology to calculate the cost per procedure will be slightly different. Adding up the depreciated costs at the end of their lifespan led to an average cost per procedure of $679. There are many different ways to reprocess, but we broke it down into three main categories. First, standard high-level disinfection, which costs approximately $80 per cycle and is the bare minimum. Second, double high-level disinfection, which costs approximately $118 per cycle and is exactly what it sounds like. You repeat the disinfection cycle a second time. Third, ETO sterilization, which costs approximately $296 per cycle and is the gold standard of reprocessing. In order to verify that the reprocessing was correctly done, more and more institutions have also started surveillance programs where they culture the scopes once they are ready for patient use and ensure that they have been properly cleaned by the reprocessing cycle. We only included the lab costs of doing this, so approximately $100 for lab materials and $10 for the labor adding up to about $110 per cycle. So that all adds up to an average reprocessing cost range of somewhere between $80 and $406 per procedure. The study found that each duodenoscope had a repair contract that cost $2,500 per duodenoscope per year. This equated to approximately $182 per procedure. Finally, cross-contamination and infection. The study estimated that the infection rate ranged from 1 to 1.2%. In order to be conservative, we used the low end of that, 1%, for this summary. Additionally, this study was very conservative on the cost for treating the cases of infection. This equated to $472 per procedure. So when you add it all up, now we can see how we arrived at an average cost per procedure between $1,413 and $1,739. As you can see, there are a lot of costs that go into owning or leasing conventional duodenoscopes. However, the good news is that the fairly simple framework that we just finished discussing can be used to directly compare the cost of conventional duodenoscopes with the cost of single-use duodenoscopes on a procedural level. Lastly, this summary suggests that healthcare financing infrastructures must be updated to reduce budget silos. Cost transparency for decision makers is critical for our healthcare systems to be able to take full advantage of new, innovative, and cost-effective technologies. 
Do you want any help figuring out which ERCP options are the most cost effective for your facility? Or are you simply interested in trying to figure out how much your current procedures are costing you? Well, Ambu has an entire team of health economists and market access experts. We are available to help you figure out the true cost per procedure in your facility today, as well as what your cost per procedure could be. If you want to request your own customized budget impact analysis, please send us an email at us-healthecon at ambu.com. For more information on how Ambu is leading the future of endoscopy, please visit us at ambuusa.com.